It's the rundown, November 16th? Uh, 18th. 18th. November 18th. We got the lovely Donnie Does, the lovely Kelly Keegs, and of course the loveliest of us all, Barstool Bites. Woo. That's right there here. We got the Lou Will. We got uh, Eddie and Company's Bang Bang Wind Bucket, and that's only what's here. We have joined forces with two leading edge industry icons and that partnered to launch Barstool Bites, a delivery and pickup only restaurant available now in select cities nationwide. Barstool Bites will bring a specially crafted menu inspired and named after Barstool Sports' unique personalities. Thanks to acclaimed chef Eric Greenspan, you can look forward to an amazing assortment of dishes ranging from game day favorites, must-have munchies, and anything in between, all named after Barstool personalities, including Game of Beer's Buffalo Chicken Dip, KFC's Skinny Fat Wing Collection, and Glenny Ball's Long Island Sliders, and much more. I got the Biggie by Smitty. We got Clem Swishies, which are a personal favorite. Those Donnie great. does dip. Those are great. Donnie, Donnie does, does dip. dip. Yeah. Which is also delicious. Hopefully have... some wontons, wontons are coming down the pipeline. That'll be exciting. At some point. How do you exciting. feel about someone else handling your wontons? Yeah. I mean, I just, I think I, I would I would rather put my name on like what my actual name is. That's true. That's yes. fair. That's yeah. true. That's yes. fair. What you got is delicious. Yes. Correct. Oh yeah. my God. The that dip stuff is good. It's fire. Exactly. It's a, a French my... onion bacon dip. And also, White Sox just, Dave has cornered the chicken finger market. I'm not sure how that happened. I mean, yeah, no, he's crushing, he's crushing the chicken fingers. Yeah. I have my, my sweet bites, the only dessert on the menu, uh, bread pudding bites with a caramel dipping sauce. They are the best. They are the best. And you can order them right now. They're available at your fingertips at barstoolbites.com and via the Barstool Bites property app available for download from the Apple Store or Google Play. Head to BarstoolBites.com or download the Barstool Bites app and check delivery or pickup options near you and get $3 off orders of $15 or more with code Barstool exclusively on the Barstool Bites app or BarstoolBites.com. It's delicious. Uh, yes, it is. And transitioning to uh, what is happy to what is obviously sad, the most viral story of today, uh, Zach Stacy, former running back of the Jets and mm -hmm. uh, St. Louis Rams in an obvious disturbing uh, video, which uh, I, uh, that was more of the one of the most shocking things I've. I've it was a horrible yeah. video. It was a horrible video. I, I I wouldn't even suggest like going to find it and watching it. It's like a really terrible yeah. situation. It's obviously a domestic violence dispute. Um, it, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's so it's, shocking. I'm surprised it wasn't taken down. Right. Honestly, like that's how yes, bad it was. That's honestly yeah. true. It's it's disgusting. And I think that you know we don't. We don't have to really talk about it that much. It's just like disgusting, and that guy got got to go to jail. <laughs> like, yeah. Holy shit. Holy yeah, I shit. mean, I've never even punched a man that hard. Christian. No, I mean it's honestly like that's fucking. It's honestly, okay. it's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's truly fucking crazy. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody should be punching anybody. Yeah. That hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in no. general. <laughs> Yeah, in regardless. That well, unless it's in the rough and rowdy ring. Yes, yes. Right. Jeff Nadu, Outside Jersey Jerry. Yeah. Agreed. Horrible. This horrible shit. Horrible. Awful. Awful. Mm -hmm. And hopefully he gets he gets what he deserves. But uh, fingers crossed. Another viral story going around: Drake and Travis Scott finally got hit with uh, the seven hundred fifty million dollar lawsuit coming down from them. Uh, Astro World. Yep. Uh, That's gonna happen. But. Uh, Gloom and doom. Yeah, well, too hot over the place, topics. Man. Thank you. No, but Tommy. it's true. I mean, shit is gloomy right now. Something's going on in the world right now. I feel like everything is so gloomy right now. But the Astro World stuff is so insane, and it continues to be insane. And I don't know if, like, anything that happens will, you know, will fix anything that had happened. Does that make sense? Like, this lawsuit's coming down. All this stuff is happening. That's all well and fine, but yeah. it, that was a nightmare. That was a nightmare, and they're just gonna have to deal with that. You know? Yeah. I mean, hopefully, concert promoters and stuff like that. I don't know. Do a little, yeah. little better work on the crowd control. Yeah. I think, like, did they oversell the concert? Was that one of the problems? I think, it's, I think it was oversold. I think it wasn't properly outfitted for medical emergencies. I think that the crowd was riled up. I think that it was a lot of factors that went into one, and it just kind of, I mean, it, it was horrible. <laughs> it, it was a massacre, essentially. Like, it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. It's and, terrible. And, and Drake can probably Drake, I didn't, afford it. How is how is Drake involved? Travis I actually don't know too, about that. How is Drake his involved? wife can afford it. That's facts, say. yeah. yeah. Kylie. Can, how is Drake involved in this? I feel like I missed a step. Yeah. I, he was there, wasn't he? Was he? I'm not sure if he was I, I honestly don't know. He performed? He performed. Oh, gotcha. He came out he was a surprise guest. Oh, Drake was the surprise guest. Okay, so he was Got a part it. of this of this uptick in Got it. energy. Yeah. Okay, so, well, supposedly, yeah. The reparations, if you go and like want to like sue them, like 
Nick, you, know, you can speak up. Get a little light. <laughs> yeah, I can, right. I can. They offered, they'll pay for the funeral costs if you don't sue them. You're so, kidding me. Yeah, yeah. So, but if, then if you take them to court, they're not going to pay for... Wow. Yeah. So, they, so these people have to decide between between like, oh, just oh, we'll just take a we'll just take a funeral payment over suing them for yeah. losing lives. I mean, what the fuck? That's yeah. what I'm saying. This You're whole Drake thing and Travis is like, Scott just well, like, so paper they're everything. being what sued, but then is the concert promoter being sued too? Oh, is the venue being, being sued? Being so like everybody? Everybody's in trouble. Yeah. I mean, everybody has to be It's a shit show of suit. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. But probably yeah, Drake and Travis are. Be like the two people with the most money, probably. For involved. sure, yeah. Unless, yeah, well, sure. the concert was thrown by Live Nation, or I don't know. I, don't I, know who I it honestly was, have but, no yeah. idea who threw it. I don't think it was so much that. I think it was that it was the concert venue itself. Yeah. It was the it was part of the issue, and I think that the reason Travis Scott's in so much trouble is because he has this history of riling up his fans, encouraging them to get crazy, encouraging yeah. them to well, wasn't have this kind of behavior. Wasn't footage of him saying stop? And then he sort like of. continued going on. There's there's all kinds of different footage of him being like, oh help them over there. Like I I don't know how to feel about that because I you see him up on that thing, and you think like he's so close. How can he not see what's going on? But there's I can't imagine you going. can. There's a lot going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and if, if everybody is is getting hyped up and whatever, like I don't know. Once it, once like the ambulance was in the middle of the audience, I feel like then you have to be like, okay, let's stop the fucking show. But. I don't know, man. It's yeah. just, it's, it's negligence all around. It's, it's a shit ton of negligence. Let's just let's get, get some happiness yeah. in here. Let's, we want yeah, more, let's, let's yeah, more fun little, topics. Let's bring some energy Yes, this. like Mike Tyson uh, <laughs> right. saying that he used to bang the shit out of groupies to avoid oh killing God. people before he got into the ring. Actual quotes. Uh, oh, yeah. He said, quotes. um. Yeah. So like, he would hide he said, he people said, in dressing rooms he, yes, his and chauffeur. in the bathrooms, the and quotes, then actually the quotes are from his chauffeur. His chauffeur said that he would like he would like stow away, tuck away girls, yeah, wait he was, for him, and then bang the shit out of them, yeah, crack his neck and go, my opponent's gonna live tonight. Which, because he like he yeah, because like, he had loosened, he, he, he had gotten good enough, so he like isn't gonna kill somebody. He tonight. drained his uh, <laughs> testosterone. Yeah. He got which, the he got the demons out, which is yeah. insane on two levels. Number one. Boxing is the most physically exhausting thing you can possibly do. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. you just hold your arms up here for yeah. a minute, you're like kind of drained. Imagine doing that and moving and ducking yeah, and no, dodging it. for three minutes to five minutes, 12 times. Like you're, you're done. Yeah. You're spent. Yeah. The fact that he can go out and plow beforehand and still basically murder everyone in the ring. So he, he, needs, to. Yeah. he needs to do it. He's like, yeah. I must do this, otherwise I will kill my opponent. Like that's that's insane. My I said like, what kind of pressure to put on this girl? Like, what if she doesn't have, what if it's not good enough? What if she doesn't well, I mean, he just, good enough? It doesn't and have to be great sex. Somebody. He, just, Is that on he her? just has to get the nut. Like, right. as, yeah. long as, as long as he gets a nut, to his me, opponent will live. <laughs> it's not about insane. how good the sex it's is. It's like the psycho, it's there's yeah. something about Mary. Like, yeah, you, you gotta, yeah. you know, flog the dolphin before a date. Gotta get you gotta, the gotta out. spank yes. the monkey before a fight. Gotta now, get the poison out. When I was out. playing football, I would do the opposite. I would be sure to not jack off before games because I like keep need that it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I'm not like a very aggressive person, so yeah. if I wanted to crush some skulls, you know, I had to have my my jizz bottled up. Did I still have the grit, tenacity, and mental awareness to be a top-tier football player and lead the Warriors back to glory? Only time would tell. I feel like someone just needs to like knock me on my ass once and then I'll just like all the football intuition will come back. That's that's, that's good. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> yeah, you sometimes yeah. you gotta bottle it up. Now, is this, yeah. is this not football the case games uh, way back down he does youth or actual Chinese or uh, high football school games. and Chinese professional okay. football? Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. How yeah. else are you a pro? Yeah, right, come on. Right. I didn't, Why not? So you understand how he I feels. I didn't win a Chinese yeah, Super Bowl beaten off all the time, dude. That was a very right. dry season. <laughs> exactly. Does Stephen Che know about that? Um, well, Che takes a little bit of credit for winning the Ex Super Bowl, but exactly. also me refusing to jack off, I think I'd get a, a little the, bit of that. Put it right up right, there. Right, that yeah. was what did it. That was what did it. But yeah. imagine the imagery of, of, well, not Mike Tyson going ham jam on people before mm -hmm. the ring, but... Yeah. There's a preparation before you get into a professional boxing match where, like, you're you're in there with your trainers. You have your gloves put on you, and you're strapped in. You can't take them off. Is he doing the fucking with two boxing gloves? That's a great question. That's a very good question. Because you might yeah, as well. Because that takes a long time, right? Like, how? Yes. I wonder how far in advance he needs these women. Like, he's like, oh, an hour before the fight. The way it I sounds need her like it's right room. before he gets yeah. out. Right, right? Like, yeah. it's, it kind of does. So maybe it is. Save Peter McNeely's life. Maybe it's a it's a no hands a no hands fuck situation. Like, it's this is purely professional. Like, I need these girls in here to help me to perform. They're like, what, what's the? He, they're PEDs for him.
What a fascinating character. He's nuts, man. He's yeah, so also, nuts. I'm afraid of him for real. I was I'm so afraid of that. him. I'm, he just seems like, he seems unhinged in, in every way possible. Also in like cool ways. Like I feel like it's probably cool to be friends with him if you're like friends with him. Now, and he'd be one yes. of those he'd be one of those not, friends. Not maybe not that non sexual no, no. Mike Tyson. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Yeah, when but, I was um when he went to prison. Reading right, up on we don't want that. We don't want that. No, 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 no. I just mean his like demeanor. I feel like he's one of those friends that you would have that you're like, Yeah, I'm really glad he's my friend because otherwise I'd be oh, horrified. Yeah. yeah, when I was reading up on this, there was uh, another headline from two days ago, Mike Tyson died while tripping on psychedelic toad venom. I saw that too. That so sense. yeah, I don't know if anyone brought that. He died internally. That, they did, they did. There is nothing that could come out about Mike Tyson that I wouldn't eventually believe. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, he's one of those guys where any, any story that comes out, it's like, oh, it's probably true. Like, yeah, that probably happened. Would you rather get punched in the face by Mike Tyson in a crime or be stabbed in the stomach? Oh. Stabbed by who? No, I don't think it really stab, matters. Stab so deep as long as I, like, like is, is the blade going like all the way in? The, the blade, the blade goes far. Am I I'm survive? assuming the blade misses major organs. Okay, like I'm, I'll survive the stabbing. Theoretically, yeah. like I'll probably get right to a hospital. Theoretically, I'll probably. Just I mean, stab. are you going to survive the punch? That's what yeah, I'm saying. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know if I will. I don't know if he had sex that day. I don't know if he had sex right before the before yeah. he punched me in the face. So I don't know. I think I'll probably choose the stab. I don't I'm know. Stabbed. I think it's safer. I'm, I'm <laughs> terrified it's... of blades, but it depends if if Tyson was wearing a glove. Like, yeah, he could still kill me, but yeah. I, I would take him wearing a glove over someone just shoving a blade in my abdomen. God, that would hurt so much. A blade. I think that's an actual toss up. Yeah, I mean, I would <laughs> rather really get. Is. I would rather I really get don't know. shot than stabbed. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want to see it yeah. happening. No, yeah. No. I think I'd rather get stabbed because shot. They gotta dig in. They gotta find the bullet. The bullet yeah, stuck but in there. Sh shooting, they say like. You don't know that it really hits you. Like the adrenaline yeah, popping, it's like it feels shot. like a oh, yeah. that's good to know. stab and you see it. Right, happen. right, right. Yeah. Okay, like, okay, okay. And the bullet is so hot looking, that it's looking, clean, it's uh, sterile. I have, I have something to add. You're yeah. looking slim, by the way. I one time right saw now. the sports science on Mike Tyson, an unprotected right hand from Mike Tyson. I believe it was with a glove on. Uh -huh. And it's kneeling down at home plate, tying a pillow to your head, and letting Barry Bonds take a full cut. Okay, I'm getting stabbed. Yeah. Right, I'm getting stabbed. Like I just know, I know Whoa. that. Are you that's okay? Like, well, like the, that's like what like the pounds yeah, per yeah, square yeah. inch pressure is or something. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Am I okay? Yeah. Thrillers? What? Never, but why? Okay. I don't know what the inspiration you of this sound question a little, is. A little horse. Oh, I'm COVID. Oh. oh, of course, of course. That's it's okay. always <laughs> according to Thrillist, yeah, the amount of horses equal to American Idol That's probably legally judge. not the right thing to say. <laughs> Wait, the crowd in Manhattan what this, office. What is this weird thing on TV? I thought you said TV? coke at first. That wouldn't be. <laughs> well, that, yeah, 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 that, that wouldn't too. be a good thing to say either. Acceptable. Look at this weird thing on TV that it says. Uh, it says according to Thrillist, that amount of force is equal to American Idol judge Simon Cowell running you over with a Vespa while traveling at nine miles per hour. Oh, I'd get that's run how, over by Simon Cowell in a Vespa. That sounds a lot better than Barry Bonds taking it. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. I love how they say Simon Cowell Bring was based on weight. Investment. Like, how much does he weigh? Like, what a ricochet shot I'm at Simon I'm pretty sure Cowell. I have been run over by a Vespa at some point. You have? Oh, yeah. yeah I feel like you would have been. Yeah, I mean, I've recently? been... Recently? I've been hit. No, not recently, but oh, okay. I used you to... you had your wits about you over in Italy lately? Um, no, in... In Shanghai, I used to ride a Vespa, oh, and I, I, I definitely got hit. Maybe not completely run over. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, how that was, how was the Vespa scene when you were in Italy? Um, I live in Venice where there's no roads, so there's there's no oh, Vespas. Oh, yeah. I yeah, didn't even think yeah. about that. There's no, there Only aren't boats. roads literally anywhere? No. Like, there's no cars? No I've cars. I've never been, and I really would like to go. Yeah, there's there's one road that goes into the city, but then the rest of the city. Wow. Does it none. take forever to get everywhere? Um, like all the public transit, you just you just hop on a boat. You, they have all these like. Oh yeah, public that's transit their subway. boats. Damn, how mm -hmm. weird. That's, have you been? That's my boat. I have been to Venice. Have you? Yes. Oh, man, Delightful. I gotta go. I gotta go. I really want to go. Delightful. Well, Lovely. uh, have a spare room. Excellent. I think that I'll the next visit. bar Bibs? stool <laughs> yeah, so we'll reality through. show, the the winner should win a week with me in Venice. Hell yes, that's great. Yeah. I'll try even harder. Yes. <laughs> you Perfect. can bring Vibs. Perfect, perfect, that's excellent. Okay. Oh, he's you, only, you, wait, 132 pounds is Simon Cal No, that can't Simon be Cal true. Simon Cal 132 pounds? That's, that's not, not true. That's not true. That's not true. I'm, I'm almost 130 pounds. There's Could no way. extremely short. There's no way. Not a chance. Yeah, he's got to be 4'11". He's, he's not that short. 135 pounds. 84 62? kilograms. God, we're all so... We're so American, huh? Where's where's <laughs> expressions or truths? Kind of happy it's not Come through, <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. Damn. Anyway, what else is going on? Uh, we got Matt Stafford's wife threw a pretzel at a 49ers fan. <laughs> not only that, 
came out and apologized. Uh, now, what's what? the move there, Kelly, as someone who uh, I feel like seemingly has gotten the brouhaha's before yeah, in yeah. her life? I feel like, you know, throwing a pretzel is like whatever. I, don't apologize if you're going to throw a pretzel. If you're going to do something that immature, stick to it. Be like, whatever, I threw a pretzel. Don't apologize. <laughs> Yeah. Just or and do you, does anybody need an apology for a thrown pretzel? Like if somebody threw a pretzel at you, are you gonna get be so mad until you get an apology? No, absolutely not. I mean, if someone threw like a full thing of Coca Cola at me and then yeah. like it gets all over you and the rest of the game you're covered in Coke, yeah, that's annoying. Who cares totally. if you get dinged with a, a pretzel? Yeah, pretzel. Yeah. That's soft anyway. Plus, it's Matt Stafford and, and his wife Kelly, I believe. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind she's of endearing. I mean, thank God this story. She's a ride, that's a ride or die bitch. That's what that it's sounds like to endearing. me. It's endearing. I do. But, yeah. It's endearing. But if this story came out of Philly, same same situation. If it was Jalen Hurts' girlfriend or Bryce Harper's wife, mm -hmm. they would be calling for their fucking head. A hundred percent, they would. A hundred percent, they would. It's a but I mean, whatever. What do, you, what do you think about you can't it? Can't be comparing like, batteries to pretzels. You're not. I'm not comparing batteries to pretzel. You fucking dick. It's batteries are pretzels worse. Pretzels to pretzels. Even okay. though a South Philly pretzel yeah. probably packs a punch. Batteries okay. are much worse. Batteries are much worse. Get some in here, please. Tommy. Whoa. Tommy. <laughs> That's a it is a little time loud. You, Tommy. It was so stern. <laughs> it is quite loud. Oh yeah. no. Jesus, the way you talk like that and you're growing a beard, you're a couple of years I, away from what a man. What a man. What's up, guys? Let's see how many goldfish are in here. Oh my god, who is that hot hunk of man meat? Hannah. <laughs> are you serious? I've never seen a man so rugged. Did you see his beard? And he peed his pants just like Tommy did, which is like my favorite thing. A full blown man. It's anyway. Just a lack of respect to you. Have you? Are you? Yeah, have no, you it's still it's never, super disrespectful. Super disrespectful. Have, you, have you still never driven on the highway? Still never driven on the highway. Okay. Real. That's all right. You just you resume, quieted a room. Resume, resume noise. <laughs> uh, and we also got uh, Bill Belichick. It's the highest paid coach in all four sports. Uh, Donnie, 18 mil a year compared to like Pete Carroll, 14 mil, and you read 12 mil. Uh, first nine NFL coach up there, Greg Popovich, probably the top three basketball coach of all time, 11.5 mil. Yeah, 18 I mean, mil? Surprisingly, was a little higher. That seems that does seem low. Yeah, like I think a he's lot. I think he's lot. worth more than just four million dollars more than Pete Carroll. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, agree Pete with Carroll that too. Is swindling. I know yeah. enough to agree with yeah. that. I'll mm -hmm. say this: I'm not, you know, I don't know all the coaches by name all the time. I do know who Pete Carroll is. Obviously, I know Bill Belichick. I think mm. that. Bill Belichick, the fact that I know his name so well, and I feel like he's like a household name the same way Tom Brady is. So I think that it's not surprising. Who's the best hockey coach out there in NHL? I couldn't tell you. No idea. Not a clue. Hockey? Mm. Baseball? Baseball. I only know, like, no, I don't know any. No, no. Because I, like, I feel like I would know maybe a Mets coach, but they are. They get replaced. They get replaced yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, I can throw out some names, maybe. No, throw I don't out know. A name. I don't know them. Throw out a name. Why well, can't it's hard because I don't know the difference between the coaches and the owners. That's fine. Like the Wilpons are the owners, okay. or they were the owners. That looks good, yeah. Uh, Steve Cohen maybe is an Steve owner. Steve Cohen's an owner, yes. <laughs> I'm looking at Frank. I'm trying to take it out of his brain. <laughs> Frank is not a Frank's turkey shirt. I don't um, know I don't yeah. know who the coach would be, no. What about though like the coach of Man U? He's, I assume he's paid higher? I'm su I'd be surprised if oh, he wasn't yeah, paid well, higher. That's... Okay. Yes. Fasoli, look that up. I feel like yeah. how much is college the coach is Cal Parry's paid eight mil. Uh. Saban's coached uh, Nick Saban. I know Nick him. Nick Saban, nine point seven five. I believe they're the highest paid state employees. Dabo is, is paid something crazy. Like is is he paid the same as Belichick? Or wait, no. how much is he paid? Coach well, o? Saban Saban's the highest paid. Oh, oh okay. In, right. uh, well, Coach O got a payout. Oh. He's LSU. Paid. He was LSU. He was LSU. Still okay. there. Dabo's eight million. All right. I'm yeah, just I'm just trying English. to name people, got, names I know. I got the eights mixed up. All right. Jimbo Fisher. Old Gunner <laughs> Struggling, I guess. Old, name. his, name's, his name's Old Gunner? <laughs> old Gunner? Old Gunner? Old Gunner. That's a great name. Yeah, that's crazy because his, like, old? Arsenal fans are, are called the Gunners, <laughs> or they're called the Gunners. You could pronounce that Gunner. Is it spelled like that? Um, old but, Gunner. What a name. And how much is he paid? Oh, for so oh, we're waiting. You could never be we're on the waiting. Joe Rogan show. Why? Because it's, oh, it's oh, taking them so long to pull it up. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got. I mean, it soccer should be. salaries are just, or excuse me, football. If you put salaries, up oh, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, out of control. Well, that whole thing is like, I feel like we're the ones that are in the bubble on soccer. Like we're we're the ones that are like, oh, you know, yeah. for sure, whatever is going on. The rest of the world knows that it's the biggest sport there is, probably. Would you say? 
I don't know. You ever see an Indian Pakistani cricket match? That's that's very fair. No, I have not. Neither no, I have I. not. So you're right. So you're right. Could, that could I, be. Right? Imagine that could be bigger. I heard like wars are going to start over that. I'm sure Isn't that they true, do. Danny? What was that? India <laughs> Pakistan <laughs> cricket. Oh yeah. 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 Their their rivalry is intense. Oh, yeah. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, and also check out the Belgrade Derby video between Red Star Belgrade and Partisan Belgrade. Oof. That's the most intense rivalry in all of soccer. Like, many times the hooligans have just murdered each other. Um, and the leader of the hooligans are also in the mob. And one yeah, of the guys in tough. jail right that's now because he was putting human bodies in a meat grinder right. to get rid of the evidence. That's fucking crazy. Checks out. I, I feel like there's a lot of a lot of shady backdoor dealings with soccer because of all the gambling. I feel like everybody's in on it, you know? Like I yeah. feel like there maybe there is some of that here, but I feel like Have you ever heard of FIFA? I mean, yeah, FIFA. Is there bad gambling issues on FIFA? I, I would say there's FIFA's issues. FIFA's a video all game, yes. Of, among other things. Yeah. FIFA's a video game? Yeah. Diarrhea! Diarrhea! Fuck this game! I've had enough! Take it off, blood! Take it off! No, I'm done! I'm done, blood! End the stream, blood! End the stream, fun! This is bullshit! This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Fuck this game. Take it off, blood. Okay. Uh, just, 13 mil. 13 mil for okay. old. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just 13 sure. mil for old Gunna. Oh, so, Gunna. Bill Belichick paid more than old Gunna. Okay, but I think the yeah, main I city got coach is paid 19 mil a year. Or, no, he's worth that much. Okay. Uh, All right. Last topic brought Hard some controversy fun. last show. Uh, thanks to Kelly oh, uh, no. getting us all stabbed over her, her anti Taylor Swift takes. Uh, Leo or Nelly? Nelly? Nelly's for 47. No chance. Leo's how old? 47. Leo's Nelly's hotter so. than Leo. <laughs> what? Right. You, yes. Yes. Nelly's hotter than Leo? Right now. Right now, yes. Probably right now. Yeah. At, at 47, 125%. Oh, looking. this is, okay, yeah. I thought we were going to I was like, Nelly. I'm not in the mood. Big um, controversy on that's BFFs. Hard. That's a hard. I think that's it's just hard. like it's a weird comparison to make. I think it's like they're very, very different looking people. I say people. They're, they're different. They're also just different. They have different talents. They're different people. Again, like I, I think that Nelly now is better looking than Leo now. I think young Leo was was the hottest of hot, and young Nelly was pretty hot too. Young Leo, you talking like Titanic what's Leo? Double break, basketball no, no, diaries. No, no, like Titanic, no. like okay. Titanic. That was basketball one of his first diaries, movies. sure, sure, yeah. that'll be fine. And Nelly, they Punk just have like Leo. they have different styles. Like Leo, we like Nelly for who he actually is, because that's who he is as a performer. We like Leo for the characters that he plays. Hmm. So what's so how can you make the comparison? You know, and that's true. Leo has come out with some great movies in the past couple years. Nelly has not come out with great yeah, music. Yeah, but Nelly in the was past. on Dancing with the Stars and really crushed it. Okay. Nelly's, been, Nelly's had a quite a comeback himself. Also, ride with me. Holds up better than Titanic. Relax your mind. Take that your is true. Very true. Does it hold better up Titanic? <laughs> Titanic's. Ugh. You I don't yeah. think I've no, re watched I'm not gonna get Titanic since I saw it. Comparing Titanic to Ride with Me. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I listened to Ride With Me. 14 year old Smitty had a lot better time listening to Ride With Me than he did watching Titanic yes. alone bet. by himself. I bet. I know. I bet and you Titanic did. had yeah. tits. Too. I bet you did. Yeah, Titanic still. had boobs, no? Exactly. That didn't affect yeah. you? Ride With Me still got it going better than that? Ride With Me yeah. still Damn. a lot That's more fair. That's, it's a sexy song. Damn. It's a very sexy song. Uh, Tommy, you got anything for the after show? Mm. Any, any one of your Tommy controversies going on around here? Nothing? Pretty quiet? Yeah. How's, how's your beer Thursday night football tonight. You There's, guys got Thursday night Barstool football. Pats, uh, Six and a half, I believe. <clears throat> I believe Big T going to be on stream with uh, spread? Dave. Six the spread is half. six and a half. Oh. Mac mm. Jones, mm. one of the best young quarterbacks to ever see the light of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people are calling him God. Yes. And, mm. uh, yeah. Watch mm. Barstool abroad the Balkans. New episodes every Wednesday. Oh, very nice. Little plug. Yeah, Black how, Friday's coming up, How was too. all that? How was the reception on that? People liking it? It's going well. Yeah? yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, wanna, yeah. I wanna binge. I wanna binge. I gotta binge it. Do it up. Yeah, we've I already got uh, four bids out, That's and I think we I have gotta, another, like, I gotta sit four down and five. take a tour. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Is, um, do we know what's going on for Cyber Monday yet, Tommy? What, what? I think the sales starts tonight at midnight. No, or next something? week. Okay. No, yeah. no, no, no. no. So, so bar exactly. store, I mean, everything will be more, on sale yeah, we next have week news. and stuff. Nate, yeah. do you know what's going on? What wacky thing we're doing <sighs> this year? It's definitely not announced. It's definitely yet. not announced. Nothing definitely is announced not yet. Announced. Okay. Yeah. Something's we'll coming out. Right we'll, now. we'll see if uh, <laughs> something we need to will be coming out, for Saturday. Yeah, we'll see if we wouldn't need to whip out the speed pitch gun or the paintball gun last minute this year. Yeah, yeah. You'll you'll be you'll be locked and loaded in case you're sure. 
Why not? All right. That's the rundown.